Hello everyone and welcome back boys and girls ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the fresh start series as you can see we haven't been in here for a long time last time I was doing some stuff off camera and like I grew all my nether warts in there and I found the what do you call it um blaze rod mob spawner and it's it's quite time for it let me show it to you but i'm carrying so many stuff i'm worried if anything happens i tell you what we'll leave that maybe when we finish carrying all that stuff because we're going to be building a villager spawner and check this out i'm, I'm been growing these uh, melons pumpkins i'm trying to trade with this villager in there i drew from these villagers one villager to that area and i even made him turn twice into zombie villager and i reduced everything he dropped everything down but this one is raised again because i've been traded with him for some time now um i got some emeralds from him uh not much 33 blocks and six emeralds and three diamonds we still have there and this is the pickaxe we still have enchanted silk touch efficiency for and i got eight blaze rods now and i even used some of the uh, weakness potions to heal him with like two apples so now this this villager is good now see that villager in here i need to drag him out but I'd, I'm, I'm just okay i wish yeah if he can open the door i'm thinking to break that door off i don't know if i should take him out now first or shall i just wait a little bit more okay let's see can we put one there and one mine cart maybe we could grab him with it quickly come on <laughs> um i tell you what i'm just going to break that block hopefully he don't run out like a girl where are you going where are you going i know this is going to be a little bit of hassle but um in the end yeah get up there no 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 you silly boy Okay, what do you have on your feather falling three? Whoa, we need we need to do some good trader. Yes, that's it. All right, what I'm going to do? I'm going to push this one. Probably he will end up next to the other one. I need to block this door. I believe I still have villager up there, so I'll probably just put block there for now. And um, is he gone? Yes, he is. This is how fast this railing thing is going. Oh, I didn't remove the end. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. All right, anyway, I'll probably just leave him in here for now. I'm going to be building a nice... I don't want him to get stuck in there. And I don't want it to be dark, so... Okay, we need to build a nice, cool farm. I'll probably turn it later into a nice villager's farm, which is like a nice villager's house. And I'm thinking to build it in here, to be honest, because it's going to be away from me. And every time I need villager, I could just drag him and build different parts like next to that one and build nice massive space area. But I need to keep these villagers safe. So I'm thinking to use almost the same width as this house. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I didn't bring any wood logs. No, nope. we don't want to go up of that line. So I'm trying to keep it the same of that house's size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove that block and put it spruce. Now this is the side and we can go as long as we can now. And then we could decide how much we wanted it to be big. One, two, three. And I don't want to move torches, but we have to. So this is basically four and then you get the five on the pillar one two three four and you get a pillar and technically this is not bad size but one two three four and the pillar yeah i believe that is good one two three four five six and a pillar that should be seven isn't it oh right. we shrunk it <laughs> all right so this is should be in here all right cool now this is going to be the house of the villagers and i need to make like a small farm in front of that house so in there we could make trades and stuff with them so let's raise it at least for two blocks for now to make sure none of these villagers can get out of this area because we will be in deep trouble all right and 
I'm going to keep it like so for now. I don't know if I brought some glass. I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. And I'm hoping I don't run out of uh, what is that stack of these blocks? Yeah. And voila, we have double layer and it's getting dark and I'm a little bit nervous for that villager there. Poor villager. One, two, three, four pillar and again that feels a little bit one two three four and boom and we can go one and go two and skip the night to go for now with the one two three four five and again one two three four five this is should be nice big farm and go one pillar there and one pillar there i prefer to put glass to be able to see my villagers from outside you know you don't want to feel like they left out and you can't see it's only an empty well you could put fence if you wanted to but a glass will look nice as well we will have some nice decorations for the roofing but for now we're trying to do it oops not that way no all right one two three four and get rid of that pillar okay and again one two three four pillar voila boom cool now we could have the door and normally i like to put trap doors uh, sorry um, fence gates mm, looking after them okay let me see probably do some nice decorations in there but for now i want to keep it as safe as i can make them look so silly okay and no it doesn't work like this i believe so Hmm, but let's see. I like it. I'm thinking to make it. No, I don't want it to be too high, so I'll better block it from here. First thing, we don't have too much resource, so. You know, if I have more resources, I would have probably done it. Okay, guys, check this out. All I did continue with the line all the way around, and in here I just went in the middle again and continued the pillar and continue that pass. So you have like two sections, and then we will do the roofing on that one later. Uh, for now, I'm very happy with that shape, to be honest. We're going to have a nice, decent farm for these villagers so they don't have to go out and in and do some silly stuff and get lost or get attacked by these mobs so what i'm going to do i'm going to replace all the floor probably with wood planks and then i'll do some more stairs because we're going to do the roofing and in here i'm thinking just to keep it as a glass simple because we can't do anything in here apart from glass yep i believe it's better to do it like this so they can't jump over the beds and now i know they are stuck and we are running out of glass okay i'll get some stuff ready i'll replace the flooring and i'll see you in a bit hello again i'm just regrowing these carrots to make sure i got some good amount and then i could harvest them again so i'll be able to fill up all that space and i'll show it to you in a bit and this is taking so much time because I don't have too much carrots, to be honest. If I have carrots, I would have done it quicker. Oh, we got some more tons of it. Cool. All right, this is all I did. As you can see, I replaced the flooring. Oh, yeah, we need to make some windows out here. So what is that pickaxe? And I'm carrying so many. One, two, three. And oh, I'm glad this is the last glass blocks we have now so one two three beautiful i'm happy very very 
very happy with it okay i need to break one two oh my god we don't have any more oh come on okay i need to get me some more let me do one glass now and then i'll do the rest when i have some more glass i'm going to put some glass to be melted or smelted oh you know what i mean sands and this is my last sand oh wow okay um i tell you what let's put some coal because i'm fed up using these bits and pieces and nothing getting cooked properly in here so let me take half of that put it there this is the last sand i need to go get me some more sand okay i need to empty some of these stuff i'm getting so much stuff now i got 19 carrots in there as well cool so this is very nice i already harvested the carrots in there next to the village you remember in my previous videos and it's getting dark all right now we're going to do the roofing and hopefully it should really really be easy the problem is we don't have glass and we're smelting some glass all right and this is how i've been going up and down and i put some torches and i'm hoping you know what i'm just a little bit worried imagine a creeper spawns or something so let's put a couple of torches on these pillars um we can put it on the glass oh perfect i love it i know i could put it on the top of the glass but i never thought i could put it up i told you guys i haven't played it for a long time so um hmm put it here or up there i don't like torches to be in the way to be honest so i'm just going to use that upper level for now looking cool like so i'm happy the place is lit well technically okay let's make some more torches okay we're good to go now all i did i put this double glass in there and i put the single one there and i added these four pillars in the middle and i'm thinking maybe we do like a pointy bit not too far from here but you know just to add some feature or maybe like a small tower on the top of it and we'll see how it goes now what i'm thinking of make it like a small pointy square tower but make sure we have some nice decorations in there as well like tidy it like so and make sure you go from here right again this side oops and yep and now go with the dark spruce stair like so again this side i'll go one two and again make sure you go and you meet them together i'm thinking to make it a little bit different this time you know like pointy but this is too big for pointy mm. okay let me see okay that's fine Um, yeah, I think it, I go with it. It's almost the same height as this one, so let's leave it as it is. Beautiful. Yeah, why not? And do that part as well. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, like it. Now, fill up all these ones. The filling inside it should be easy. And go with it like so i'll do this side and then i'll do the other side off camera oh that was nice jump all the way just before the pillar there as you can see and you could go I'll tell you what i'm going to keep it empty inside i don't want to put anything just keep it really spacious and we don't want to waste so much stuff now we should have slabs yes i brought some slabs all the way like so i'm going to do the other side exactly like this side and i'll see you in a bit hello again finish that side finish that side perfect now what you need to do go one to fill it up like so and i think we should go more one two and do the same for that one two Ooh, how can we go to the other side now oops I need to use one, two. Okay, now we can go one, two, 
and this is going to be up to here for now well I think I need to block it all and we're going to have a nice decent window maybe in there right and go all the way like so and one two two and close like so cool now what I need some more and to make sure these edges connected exactly from the first block so you could use above the torch and just go all the way like so again this is because the torch I believe in level three and if, if it's too low from the inside we could just take it off and go I think this one is out of the place but it's fine just it's like a pyramid shape from the inside you have to make sure it is perfect I like it like this and now now we made this sides like this that side I'm going to make it pointy this way so it makes it look different to be honest and it gives it better looking and I'm thinking of using one two see I could make it nice pointy and let's see okay um shall we use the same oh I'll leave it like it is for now and see how it goes because after all this is a villagers house I like it because I want it to look really nice for the villagers um, probably spent so much time at the big oops at the beginning because we're going to be trade uh, trading with these villagers so much and to be honest in skyblock guys if you check my videos for who haven't seen it the armored suit we're getting in there it is really really cool and I'm serious okay and again and two in the middle all right go one and one and again one two and one two I'm thinking of if I could put these upside down stairs right now it would be better for me actually can I reach no oh okay cool we, we stand <laughs> on the glass cool I'm happy with that nice okay um no not that way that way I think I want it to be a little bit like this okay so again we go this way that way fantastic okay um I believe we could put this in there and raise that window we don't need the sword I know we still have a glass so not much so we have to be careful for our glass to be honest trap doors I need to have trap doors around this area did I bring spruce trap doors no okay let's go quickly bring some more trap doors and skip the night cool okay we get the trap doors one two three and just open them like so fantastical fantastical like it I really do like them like so these oops okay where's that oh come on okay you could remove that one Ooh, you are joking and continue with that wall like so oh cool this side is done i'm just going to fill up all this and i'll see you in a bit hello again we finished from the roofing i dropped down so i'm going to put a couple more of these blocks like so to make it fall down and i already put one there and just continue with that line all around the house until you reach this side fill it up like so do the same and cool I like it like this now we need to go in and fill up all that with these blocks so hopefully 
oops see I was gonna say hopefully we don't have any mistakes and we did the mistake All right now what you could do you could break this block there and add a glass window hmm I like it I like it if if we add a couple more there I don't want it now I like it like this I'm going to put probably um what do you call them I don't have any dirt with me no no dirt nothing All right we put like the um, flower pots you know garden stuff around the house or around the villagers farm and we'll see how it goes and again I'm going to fill up this side and this is the worst part where you have to squeeze your blocks cool all right boom let's go inside so technically we finished from the whole farm it's looking kind of cute <laughs> because this is not so so special to be honest you know for for this uh, part in here so i'll probably add some features around this area um making it a little bit like a balcony maybe let's see if we have we have spruce planks let's see will it look nicer from distance because it looks like the pillar something you know like something passed and cut the top of these pillars <laughs> i don't like them yeah i prefer it like this although we could put the um slabs like so and hopefully we'll have enough slabs remove these ones we don't need them anymore for now and uh, yeah i think the slabs will be perfect cool you know what i mean so small things you add as you can see it makes it a little bit better and now what you could do below each slab add one of these oops pillars we could add upside down stairs let's see maybe it looks better yeah i like it actually it looks much much better we need to make some okay and let's make some more i've been trying to make and make i used almost every single wood planks in there so i think let me make eight of this i have any more yeah we have some more stairs of these ones all right oak stairs we always have tons of the oak oops oak stairs and i like to add something like this for the pillars make them nice you know what i mean yeah prefer it like this I could add a glass pane on the top and that will make it look like balcony although we're not going to be using it we can't go in and out to it but you know what i mean okay now this wall in here i need to go up break this one that one and put the glass in there i don't like it because we have the wood structure in there so let me go up and then hmm okay let's double it like the this window and then we could have square window i believe this is a little bit low so one two nice okay perfect i need to see something outside quickly and we are done going to go off camera bring some more villagers yes we are done we're going to go going to go up put some more trap doors one two three one two three voila can we put torch in there now nah, that will look odd because it's even number two blocks if it was one block that would be cool but i won't we can in here put torch yeah why not nice tell you what we could put it on the glass yeah i think
think it brings light inside the house as well. I don't like to put them in the glass. I don't know why. See, these ones, I put them in the glass because I need them for the village. Apart from that, I don't really like to put them on the glass. And this is what I was talking about. We'll probably have to remove them. And we did. Okay, this is a three. This is a three. One block above the torch. One block above the torch. Perfect. Even cool let's pick up our stuff the village the villagers home is done i need to make me tons of beds and skip the night so i'll see you in a bit after i finish tidying everything and getting some villagers hello guys check this out he's flying towards the house i still have one more villager in that room so i believe four of them i have two one two three four and one on the mountain so five villagers actually cool Cool, nice. Um, I need to stretch. I'll be making some more of these iron rails. I need to go. Where's my pickaxe? I need to collect some of these ones. Because I don't want to use all my iron on these ones. Technically, probably won't use them anymore. Okay, let's... That should be enough for now. Let me give him a push. He will push his friend. I don't know. Maybe I have to go bring the other one as well to, you know, rush with the... Um, spawning of these villagers and see how it goes oh my god you there don't don't not now not here no this boy is busy <laughs> this boy is busy i'm telling you he just oh you're kidding me okay yeah i'm happy you refused let's break some more of these ones i don't want to give them you know i could break it here and i believe they will go straight into the beds I want to make sure. Where is it? There. I want to make sure they go. As you can see, I opened it there. So I'll give them a push and they should go inside. Easy and simple. And I brought this with me. This one, I brought it from the uh, library in there where one of these guys was in there. All right and come on okay where shall we put it put it on the top of the water i think it should be fine in here mm, yeah i believe so but i think they will start going up on the top of it and jumping down again so i'm thinking to put something up there they can't jump Boom. Now I'm happy. I got two villagers in here and two of them farmers now. Cool. The fastest process. Let me give them some carrots. I believe they will start the breeding like crazy. Okay. Um, crafting table. Shall I put it somewhere here for now? And do some where's my slabs okay six six one more composter put it there so now two villagers two composters and just throw these carrots on them they should start the breeding <laughs> making it rain carrot yeah, go. Have some children. Okay, let me go away because maybe they embarrassed. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? I believe, yeah, I believe he is planting. So I need to remove all that. We have to have one baby, at least one baby quickly. If not, I'll leave it for the next episode and I'll show you how many baby they breed or if they grow up and try to get some of these setups ready for them. Okay, this one, potato, cool. This one, 
Oh, beetroot. Nice. So if I do one trade with him, he will be locked on beetroot and potatoes. And this one, I think we have carrots. Yes, we do have carrots in here. So let's give him some. Yeah, nice, nice. I like it. One carrot. Cool. Okay, I'm going to end it in here now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope they will give some more of this um, wheat. I need wheat. I need potato to lock these two villagers. As soon as you do one trade with them, they will be locked on whatever they are holding or whatever they are trading with. And I'm thinking to remove that one. Yes, I need you. Yeah, now this one, I think he, he can't change anymore. I think it's up to eight blocks away. He will be turning into a f uh, yes. <laughs> he will be turning into a farmer. And he wanted wheat now. Okay, I'll leave you. When you change your mind, we'll talk about it, okay? Boys and guys, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to leave a like, favor, and sub. That would be great big support. And I thank you all again for your support. Stay tuned, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Till next time, don't power out. Peace.